Hello everyone, today I'm going to be actually going through this video, and while this one might be silent, I'm going to be talking about what exactly I did here. So starting out, I'm just going diagonally to avoid the plus attacks of the knives. Actually, no, let's go all the way back. I want to make sure I cover everything. I'm kind of... Let's try it again. So I'm walking through these. I have a force field to say, okay, I'm walking diagonally to avoid the plus knives. And then I'm also, you know, just kind of curving my pattern. That way those can't hit me. When I'm rushing Chara here, it's because, again, in a diagonal, so the plus can't really hit me. And also, if those things from above start firing at me, the angle I'm going at just kind of won't let them hit me. I'm kind of staying near them while moving around. And those shots have that short delay where they target onto you. And while they're fast, once they start moving, if you completely change your direction. Like if I'm standing right here and they start firing, and I just move to the side a bit, it's missed. Whenever these waves appear, though, I prioritize them on the basis of I don't want them to mess me up. Those are some of the biggest threats in this fight. I still manage to sneak a hit in while dodging it. But you do not want to risk that those huge waves will actually end up hitting you. So still going to, of course, focus on evasion. Go through wall after wall. That nearly hit me. I'm surprised it didn't, to be honest. Now, of course, going to walk through that hole. And remember, I'm constantly walking diagonally to avoid the plus pattern. And when I'm heading towards Chara, I'm constantly moving in a... Uh, it's still kind of a diagonal pattern. I don't want them to hit me, so I'm moving in an X shape, right? Diagonal. So, just keep moving like that. And you should be set for this whole first phase. Might take some practice to get used to the whole thing. But again, never walk up to Chara in a straight line because you'll get whacked by that thing. You have to always kind of just approach in these weird angles. That way you can bait out that one attack. Whenever another attack is used, of course, they can't attack for a couple seconds, which provides an opening. And I'm constantly trying to be wary of their two targeted attacks, the plus and the little slash. There we go. So 78 health, I managed to get through this first phase. That's not bad at all. So now, of course, they're going to talk to me a bit. I'm heading in the back. That way I can just kind of be ready to collect buttons in the back. And now, of course, we reach the point where phase two is about to start. Now, phase two is the real hard part of this fight. First things first. Don't move in an X this time. You're going to move in a plus. So you're going to reverse, essentially, your movement patterns. Never move in an X. You see, I want to get to that thing that's a X away from me. So I move to the left, then up. Now I want to get to that thing over there. So I move up, then right. Then I want to get to that thing. So I move left, then down. Then, of course, I whack them, head straight down. I'm constantly being wary of that. Now, you see those right there? Those things that are appearing? That's going to burst in a plus pattern. And they start out targeting where you're standing. Which means you know exactly where that's going to land the second it appears. You don't know when it's going to necessarily land. But what you need to do, and this is actually something I figured out during this fight. Wherever you're trying to go, don't walk straight on the line that that is. Be a diagonal away until you're real close. That way you won't get a plus attack on it. You won't get exactly where you want to go blocked. So again, just picking up those buttons. I don't want to stand on the exact same line as that button I'm heading towards. So I'm staying nice and far away. And in this situation, I was actually lucky enough not to even have to get the alternate bombs. I was getting these really easy to avoid attacks. I would have avoided the other ones just fine. The only attack that really concerns me is that soul wall that appears in the back. But right now, we haven't even gotten that attack yet, so I was feeling pretty lucky right now. 
course, you can manage the soul wall, but then right there, that that caught me off guard so much. At this point, I was actually pretty concerned. As you can see, my dodging patterns were thrown off a little bit, and I took a lot of extra damage. At this point, I'm just trying to play it safe, walking a straight line. Then I got sniped by that. I forgot there was something back there, but it's fine. I knew I could recover, so first things first, I didn't walk in a straight line where I was trying to head towards. I'd rather set it up that way they would detonate somewhere I didn't need to be. I waited for that one to detonate, then I saw the soul wall in the back. Thankfully it was in a place where I could easily evade. Then of course I evade the little soul bombs, collect the second to last fight button, then collect the last fight button, move in a plus pattern still, and win. So I hope that actually kind of shows you all how you're supposed to beat this fight. Just a couple little movement methods and yourself. I hope you all enjoyed.